right, we've got Boys! missiles, fireworks. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, what a day it's been. Thanks for joining us this evening on My Left Eye. This is the Sunday live stream. I'm your host, Lefty. Thanks a lot for joining me. Tonight, I've got exclusive footage from the front line of one of the counter protests uh, in England today against the EDL, against the far right. Heady, Octo, JC, Kit, welcome. Thanks for joining me in the chat. Uh, I know I'm on a lot later than normal for a Sunday. I've just had a lot of footage to uh, compile, upload, download, and then I have to get it into the, um, the broadcasting software as well. So apologies for that also. Uh, it's been a particularly long day. Um, don't normally do this on a live stream, but I've cracked open a cold one. Um, it's not a bruise at 10, it's a different kind of brew this evening on account of that. Hope you're all very well tonight. So I was down there on the front line, like I said, at uh, the protest in Bolton. I didn't get to make it down to the protest, uh, the counter uh, demo, I should say. I had to be very careful how you describe um, everything in these kinds of scenarios. Um, don't want any misnomers going on. So I missed the counter protest in Manchester and uh, went down, um, heard about a potential move from the EDL in Bolton. So I went down to Bolton Town Centre, um, found out through uh, one of my uh, chat groups about counter racism, etc. Went down there, uh, met up with a few people. Um, now, the, the people who I uh, went there to meet were part of a unison uh, peaceful demonstration group. A couple of other unions there were liaising with the with the police as well. It's not just been going on in Bolton, obviously, there's been other stuff going on in Rotherham as well. Uh, but most of uh, the content and stuff tonight is going to be about what went on in Bolton. This is all exclusive stuff filmed by yours truly, uh, your favourite local political and environmental activist. <laughs> um, so I, I, I hope it's okay, I've been um, rushing to get this uploaded and it well, it, it tells you, you know, a good clear story from on the ground. Uh, there were a few arrests, uh, not as many as there were in Rotherham. I think there were over 140 there, is that right? Uh, from what I've heard, and there was a hotel that was torched uh, in, in Rotherham. So much stuff has been uh, going on since uh, the last live stream. Uh, not only have I been trying to gain sense out of it all. It's extremely awful, as, as I did actually say on the last live stream, how the, the far right of uh, jumping on this awful tragedy which happened in Southport and now it's led to all of this. But we do have to take a stand against the far right wherever we can and if they're planning on attacking more mosques mindlessly like they did in Southport and destroying communities, um, then that has, you know, that has to be stood up against. And uh... I've more or less got everything lined up now. So 
Yeah, sorry, I've uh, not gone into Keith Sloan yet. Does any? Do you want to go into the Keith Sloan just for a minute before we um, before we get into the clips? I know we normally do that on a Sunday. Um, just sticking with the the new background music here for now, but we can do so. Um, I guess Keith will come into this in a little bit in terms of his reaction to it, but also uh, worryingly, this could also include things like other certain person uh, personal liberties being removed shall we say there have been um, there's been a lot said about things such as real-time surveillance and uh, facial recognition technology for example and I'll be honest um, I was out in the thick of it for about six hours today and it's been difficult to keep up with everything else that's been going on across the UK. I've uh, heard a few bits and pieces, obviously I've uh, spoken to uh, people down there at the counter protest as well as since I got back. Uh, I did make it back in one piece. Uh, before I go into the clips, I'll uh, got clobbered a couple of times, I got a couple of coshes on the back of the shoulder and on the on the back of the head from a, a police baton, but I'm okay. Um, I've had worse. Don't worry about me. And uh, there was there were a lot of instances where things got heated um, and things might have escalated all of a sudden in certain areas. But I've got um, quite a few clips to get through. I'll be honest. I know it's a bit of a late one. Just looking at the comments. Um, Octo <laughs> legalized cannabis problem solved. Um, oh, I don't know if that would work. I don't know how much that would work out in this situation, even though I do approve of that sentiment, I do have to say. Um, <laughs> Uh, how do I find out about counter protests? Well, well, dear viewers and members, etc., uh, who are all about to hit the thumbs up button, I'm, I'm sure you will. I've not got into any of that yet, but uh, hit buttons, subscribe, etc., come and join us in the chat. Um, so, as regular viewers will know, I'm, I'm uh, part of, I'm regularly a part of uh, political and environmental uh, actions and protests, etc. Um, and vis-a-vis -vis, I have access to certain channels um, and uh, some of those channels are local, national um, and I do have fortunately a lot of good contacts up here in, in, in the north so um, yeah that's pretty much how it happens I can't go into a lot of detail obviously um, to name particular apps or channels or groups or anything like that but uh, uh, yeah yeah it's not to say that I'm what's, what's the best word? I'm, I'm not without a, a good amount of, of contacts because that's a good thing uh, when you're involved in in this kind of thing there's a lot of togetherness and solidarity and you meet a lot of great people and um, you do become very close friends with quite a lot of them and uh, that's what happens and um, yeah, that's just part of it, but it's learning from each other and sharing with each other, which is a great thing as well. But yeah, JSC, I mean, it's um, the EDL, far right, etc. The, the EDL hasn't existed on paper um, since whenever, but the people who are involved with it unfortunately still remain as does their awful ideology but the name changes you know whether it's uh, National Front EDL BNP Britain First whatever um, cough UKIP <coughs> but 
that's the that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. And uh, cough Tories as well, yeah. You're right there, Octo. Okay, should we dive in? Um, we'll just we'll have one minute in Keith's lounge. I'll give you a minute or two in Keith's lounge before we uh, go in. All right, cut the background music. It's kind of strange that we're going to be doing this. Just in terms of the vibe, um, this this music's totally not befitting the the footage or anything. Uh, but I mean. What's Keith going to do to step on that? I'm going to attempt to segue some sort of link. What's Keith going to do about this rise from the far right in terms of presence on, on the streets and these these awful uh, attacks on communities across the country? Hey, Keith. Right, I am here. Uh, the OBS crashed. Sorry, <laughs> I had to reload the OBS. Uh, other bloody streaming software is available. Whatever. Um, just had to re-upload there. Are you all hearing me now? Am I coming through? Let me know in the chat. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue under the assumption that all's well. Okay. Yes. Confirmed. Thank you very much. Right, it was Keith. Keith did it. Bastard. <laughs> oh God. Um. So yeah, the footage. Uh, it started off pretty quiet. I do do some narration on on some of the clips. Other times, it's uh, it's a bit too much going on. Uh, to narrate properly, as you'll see. Uh, got a bit of a teaser at the start of the stream. I don't know if you noticed that as well. <laughs> um, oh, what what was I thinking? Right, okay, I've not even um, done the members scroll yet. Thank you very much, dear members, of course, before we dive into the clips. If you can see your name on the screen there, thanks for uh, your support on the channel. Thanks for showing solidarity with the membership. I'm just getting this lined up here. And if you do want to join this list of incredible people, uh, it's just 99p, please do consider that. Evening, Matt Jones. Hope you're well this evening. Okay, yeah, thanks members, and also people who've um, bought gift memberships as well. Right, let's get, and before we do, just a... I've not seen this one. This is from uh, Bolton, of course. This was... Right, yeah. And then, on to Bolton. This is Bolton, Town Hall Square. This is where the two sides are set to clash, apparently. I hope you like uh, the Rover, I don't know who, I mean, uh, whoever this Rover and reporter is. Uh, pretty awesome footage, I do have to say. Um, whomever it may be. <laughs> Expecting EDL to come down here. We'll be joining the counter protest. Let's see what's happening. This is the scene at the moment. You can see. Uh, there's cordons on both sides of this uh, war memorial that's in Bolton Town Hall Centre. So far, so quiet. Uh, 
Uh, there is a police presence, obviously. You can hear some, uh, I think the dog units are out somewhere. I can hear a few dogs barking. Uh, apparently there is another march congregating a short way from here that are gonna be meeting here in the square shortly. So I'll keep you posted on that. So far, so quiet. Yeah, it, it did start off uh, very, very quietly, a lot quieter than I uh, assumed when I was on my way there. Um, but it, as you're going to see in a few clips time, uh, that did change somewhat. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go through that with uh, the sum narration on, on the rest of the clips. You're not far from Bolton yourself, Kit. Um, yeah, there were quite a few uh, who... Um, remember the last live stream? There were a bunch of people from the northeast as well. Um, it's a small world sometimes. But you're all very welcome here, wherever you're from, of course. All right, next clip. Next slide. <laughs> now the next clip. Things are still quiet here, people are still congregating. There don't seem to be many EDL over there, I'd say around 50 tops. All quiet so far. Just heard a report though that there could be a congregation of EDL uh, down one of the main roads in Bolton, which would lead them towards the council demonstration side, which is a little bit worrying. We'll have to see how much truth there is in that. Well, that um, turned out to be a rumour. Uh, there wasn't a march coming down that particular road. All right, just a sec. Okay, cracking on. Cracking on. So this is the sort of zoomed in across the way on the side. I'm not. I wasn't sure if I've uh, narrated on this clip or not. Um, sorry, I've only had time to literally upload them, download them, put them into the software and whatnot. I've not been through them very thoroughly, but um, yeah, just I mean typical um, upside down Union flag, whatever. Um, I think I think uh, Matthew Jones knows about the um, the starter kit for if you want to be over on that side as well. Uh, balaclava, a few cans of Stella, so on. Uh, Gwynedd, thanks for joining us in the chat. Uh, just want to address that question as well. I've noticed I do refer to the far right as EDL uh, a lot in these clips. Apologies for any confusion there. So when I say EDL, uh, that used to be an organisation called the English Defence League, uh, which was a far right group. Um, however, it's, it's almost become a general term for the far right. Uh, even though, as I said earlier, uh, the name of these groups does change through the years, but the sort of people involved with it remain the same. Um, so yeah, apologies if I, if I say EDL in the clips, then that ju that just means the far right. Uh, so just to clear that up. Um, Bolton Town Hall is exactly the same as South Shields Town Hall, you say, Octo. Is that right? Is that true? Um, well, this one, and there's like a, there's information stuff around Bolton Town Hall if you ever ever want to visit. Um, yeah, they were probably built around the same era um, and so on and so forth. There is actually a library and museum around the back, which was which was closed today, obviously. Um, 
and there's a lot about the you know local history and that of the town hall as well. Uh, so go to Bolton or South Shields if you want to see and compare town halls. Right, I'll have to crack on. There's this clip. Oh boy, have I got clips. Right. Um. Let's just go. And it was at this point um, I didn't have time to get my camera back out and uh, my microphone and stuff. Uh, but we, we heard a massive crowd appearing from behind us and with that rumour about uh, members of the EDL um, potentially coming from the back, still going around. Um, we were worried that that is what it was and um but it, it wasn't it wasn't members of the far right i keep i've said edl again i think um members of the far right it wasn't them uh it was about 300 lads had showed up who had uh congregated at a, a nearby park uh who we were expecting but they uh, some of them i do have to say some of them um, at the front arrived she was saying a bit more tour de force than was expected um, and that's where things started to escalate fairly quickly and uh, yeah henceforth in the clips um, you'll you'll see what you'll see where that went and it's um, well you can argue whether it's better better footage than what the Beeb have been putting out about what's been going on but here we go <laughs> oh just a minute it's been it's been a day it's been a day it certainly has right let's do this thing Trying to keep things calm at the moment, things have escalated quite suddenly. We want to keep this peaceful. We don't want things to escalate. Looks like the EDL are trying to get through a gap in the fence on the left ear. This was one of the things, um, and before this happened, uh, so you notice, um, I'll, I'll just adjust it. So you see these barriers here, sorry, but the horse's arse is in, is in the way. Uh, if you could see past the, the horse's arse, uh, the barriers, but to the left of the the war memorial, which you can see towards the centre of the picture there, there's sort of um, another pathway um, which goes under um, some shop covers. But there were no barriers over on that side, so that the, there was a clear path between the two groups should it start to get busier, should it start to escalate. I think I used the term hurry far too much in, in the clips uh, from the ones I've seen back. But I just couldn't believe that hadn't already been cordoned off. And then when obviously so many more people showed up on the counter demonstration side, um, they were, there was, you know, mass, mass panic amongst the police. They started to try and barricade it off. That's when the horses showed up. And uh, that's when that's when the riot gear came out. It's Vanessa Phelps there. <laughs> it's I didn't see her there, Octo, no. I didn't see Vanessa Phelps there. 
No, it's a real horse's ass. Oh, goodness. Oh, one sec. Oh, one sec. Okay. <laughs> you got me with that one. Uh, just one second. I'll be right back with you people. Right, okay, yeah. This is it. Let's not make too much light of this. These are serious uh, issues, obviously. Um, good comment, though. Good comment. Good chat tonight. Good chat. Hope you're all good. Jesus. Officially started. Oh my God. We're just trying to keep this peaceful at the moment. We don't want any escalation. We don't want any violence. off uh it went from a few dozen to a few hundred literally within seconds like i said i barely had time to prepare uh getting the camera and mic out again i was just in the middle of a conversation with someone when it happened actually and uh yeah you can see that see the numbers That chant's been familiar across a lot of towns, hasn't it? Um, I can't, I won't repeat it. Uh, algorithms, etc. Uh, Bird's Nest Rat Fest, great to see you uh, back on a live stream again. Hope you're very well this evening. Uh, yeah, incitement, instigation, radicalisation. That's what the far right are all about. Um, not sure how many of, of the far right here are actually from Bolton, in other a lot of other towns and cities we've seen where people have been travelling from afar just to attack Muslim communities, attack mosques, attack hotels, What based on the fact that some uh, asylum seekers and refugees used to stay there. But also in the same hotels, you know, they, they have um, women and kids who are victims of domestic violence, etc., but don't let that get in the way of, of the far right trying to associate a tragedy in Southport with their, their hatred and their racism. 2024 in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the situation. This is the situation. But in every case, we've seen so far there's been a lot of people standing up to this no pass around no pass around it's one of the main clarion calls in all of this um and just yesterday actually uh down in bolton town hall square um i was i wasn't there myself just went down there today but um there was a vigil for the victims of hiroshima and nagasaki uh, on saturday afternoon uh, that, I'm, that i'm told 
and I mean how many times do we have to talk about history repeating and how many times do we have to stand up to far right ideology but alas the fight goes on and uh, well this is what happened this is what followed in Bolton <laughs> Bit of an exclusive, I guess you could call that an exclusive interview there as well. Um, oh, there's more, there's much more goodness. I'm... Right, I'm going to try and interrupt a, a lot less and just play some of the clips through. There is narration on quite a few of them. I know it's getting late, so. Um, right, let's go. Oh, it's like the EDL are trying to come around the back through a shopping centre. Sorry about the language, uh, Grenadier. Uh, nothing. I mean, uh, it is what it is in the clips. I've not had time to bleep anything out or anything. Sorry if you don't like the fell language, etc. Uh, this this is the cold truth of it all.
at uh, this point well uh well for me this is this is where it started to get uh pretty uh things got pretty escalated down here uh the next clip you're about to see uh involves um objects being thrown uh there are, there are fireworks there's there's horses uh there's all sorts going on i was right in the middle of it on the front lines uh the next clips the a few minutes long there were excerpts of this other so points of views from this in some of the clips that we used on the bbc i'm led to understand uh, but this is it in an extended version from right down on the ground this is exclusive footage here on my left eye sunday live stream thanks a lot for joining us this is the this is the way it went down Yeah, just about managed to get out of that side street before it all got uh, kettled in there. Um, everybody else was blocked off for a while. You're going to see in the upcoming clips. Uh, at the end of that, I just stopped to bump into someone who I know I've not seen for a while. Um, it's, it's funny where you bump into people, isn't it, really, these days? Let's uh, let's go on.
fascists tried to come around the back of the counter demonstration up this road, but they appear to have been chased off. Uh, things got a bit hurry there, as you can see. There's been missiles thrown, fireworks. Uh, there were some eggs thrown earlier that hit some police horses. Boy, looks as though all the fash have uh, scarpered from this road now. I think we're going to be going back to the town hall square to bolster things up there. Uh, but they, they did manage to get through, at least. And it's, it's appalling that we've got to come out and defend towns and cities like this. What the right wing are doing at the moment are completely out of order. And we do want to try and keep the peace. Stay tuned anyway. Hope you to come on my left eye. There's a group of lads. They're all uh, looks like they kind of blocked in. Not really kettle, but uh, they're not going anywhere. Don't know what's happening. Yes. Don't know where the EDL are at this point. Maybe they have just uh, buggered off. Hopefully. That is great. Quick reminder, this is all exclusive content. I was down there on the front lines there today. This is all done by yours truly. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you're joining me live on the stream. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so already. Show this around your social media uh, as well. And uh, thanks for your continued support on the channel. This is My Left Eye. I'm your host, Lefty. Well, back in the square, it looks like... Uh, most people have dispersed, just going to try and find out what's going on, if there's any other clashes coming up. It looks like, like I said, the EDL try coming around the back, uh, but we rushed around and soon put a stop to that. Um, okay, going to nip round and, and try and see what's happening there with us, folks. Heading back to the square now, there's hundreds of people here now, hundreds. We're he heading back to Town Hall Square, where it all started. Where it looks as though there's less of a police presence here. Um, they're going to try and form a thin line. Thank <laughs> you. 
all right guys yeah sorry about the uh the lapse there um octo in the chat how many far left rioters were there i would say no more than 100 um they were vastly outnumbered by the counter protesters uh, as well i would yeah several times to one uh, at least and uh, from what from what i saw we're going to see going through the clips if anything the edl numbers thinned out quite quickly uh, fortunately um but there were still rumors going around of reprisals here and there um So, uh... We were about here. Uh, now they're coming back to the square. It looks as though there's less of a police presence here. Um, they're going to try and form a thin line. I say a thin line uh, there, uh, little did I know at the time that it was about to get kettled in for absolutely bloody ages. <laughs> went out for a, a carton of oat milk by the way and, and it was all this that's a lie <laughs> just heard the police saying there's someone going around with a machete I don't know which side this is supposed to be on things are static at the moment and there's a couple of hundred people who sort of kept living here at the moment uh, it's a cat and mouse game with the police. Don't know what the fuck the EDL are doing at the moment. Looks like there's still a few of them over there. I think they're trying to organise a way of getting back to the square without things turning violent again. And people are appealing for calm.
I think the frigging mic's back on now. Yeah. I got showed that quite a bit by the police. I'm worse as you're about to see, but um I'm used to that. Kind of thing. <laughs> At the moment, we're still uh, not tightly kettled in here, but the police aren't letting us through the front or the back. Uh, like I said, I just took a trunch into the back of their head and on my back, which wasn't great. Just uh, documenting the proceedings here, so didn't expect that. Things seem to have calmed a bit at the moment. Definitely not the type of uh, kettle I was expecting. Definitely not bruise at 10 type of kettle, which I'm used to with a hot tasty beverage of course uh, this was a Sunday not a weekday um, yeah yeah but uh, I would I would appreciate the weekday one a lot more than that kind of kettling any day that's for sure what's that bird's nest about um 17 year old Christian lad in Southport deflection from you. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Um, there's probably a few news stories that I is that for real? Is that for real? Um, I don't know what to say about that. I've missed a few news stories today, perhaps. Uh, been in the midst of all this for, for quite a while. Uh, there's, there's more to come, there's a lot more to come. All exclusive here on my left eye. Thanks for being with me on the uh, Sunday live stream. Have you hit all the buttons? Have you hit thumbs up? It's not going to last through soon. You can see the need to try and prevent a rush towards the barrier. But uh, at the moment, not sure what the EDL are doing if they're trying to come round any other sides to clash with people here. What's this situation? It's uh, 20, to, 20 to 3 at the moment. Stay tuned. You wanna fuck with us? You're fucking with us all! Yeah? We ready to kill you all! Now, I want to address all this now, so you can see appeals for calm and de-escalation. Not to say that out of about 300 people, there weren't one or two people who were very agitated, um, very vocal, and, well, statistically, that puts it in a vast minority, let's be honest. Most of it was about de-escalation and appeals for calm. Uh, but like you can see from the footage here, there's there's one or two people, who, uh, and I un obviously, it goes without saying, how we understand, um, how angered, uh, the Muslim community must be at the moment. These attacks on mosques, uh, such as what happened in Southport, 
the fact that the far right are attacking their religion and using this appalling attack in Southport as an excuse we can understand their frustration, their anger. Um, we can also understand how they want to come together and prevent this as well. And while you might get one, literally, we're talking literally one or two people um, who might confront the police, who might call for violence, you will see a vast, vast greater number calling for peace. And I do speak to some people in the in the in the crowd in a couple of the clips coming up as well, uh, just to get the real time um, thoughts and messages as well. And that's the overriding message is that they're there for peace and the far right don't understand uh, Islam at all. Uh, not that they understand much else, let's be honest. Move him away. Keep calm. We are going back to the barrier. Just give the officers a couple of minutes and we will be back there, please. Keep quiet and step back. Step back, Amita, or step, please. They've let us out and back to the barrier now. We're just hoping that it. But it doesn't. But it stays peaceful. So I've not had time to put my external mic in. We're back at the barrier now. It looks like there's hardly any EDL left. They've either dispersed or they might be trying to find other ways around to clash with us here on this side, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely less of them there than there were when we moved away from the barrier. Just trying to keep things calm here. Chance of free Palestine here now as well. Of course, that's obviously something we support. This isn't uh, strictly a, a Palestine demo, but we heard uh, shouts earlier on of what's this got to do with the mosques, which is absolutely correct why the far right are attacking mosques. There's no need for it, there's no call for it, it's just pure racism. front lines with my left eye and um, we're going to be here as long as it takes until the EDL decide to fuck off out of Bolton. I so what they're chatting over there. I've seen the flag, I don't know if you can make it out over there. It says Jesus is king. They're obviously not aware that uh, Jesus Christ is a prophet in Islam. Uh, that's not something that's offensive to Muslims if that's what they're trying to do. A few uh, union flags being waved around as well. Probably not the right way up. 
no end to the far right. Um, Well, that's what the EDL are here to try and do. They're trying, trying to turn this um, into what they would say is a culture war, but it's, it's just racism, it's just pure racism. Um, Muslim communities across the country are horrified to be dragged into this. Mosques have been attacked, obviously. Uh, we saw what happened in Southport this week. Seen other attacks in towns and cities across the UK. All down to the lies and misinformation that's been spread online by the far right, the EDL, Tommy Robinson, Nigel Farage, you know, the usual suspects. And now it's all this. And we have to come out and defend our towns and cities from racists who are trying to attack peaceful communities. We just want this to stop, we just want the far right to go home. We don't know how many of these people are actually from Bolton, if they've travelled. We've seen in other towns and cities, it's been like I've made the football hooligan analogy a few times on the channel as well. They, they're travelling across to other towns and cities just to spread hate. And again, the communities in Southport are devastated over what happened to those three poor little girls um, this doesn't have anything to do with that but the far right are trying to make it all about that this is England 2024 ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters thanks for staying with me here on my left eye Some lads are trying to lift the fence up here, but we're not playing into the EDL zones, we're not doing what they want. They want violence, we want peace. No pass around. So it, it looks like everyone's trying to uh, potentially break through the cordon here. Um, heard someone shout, head towards the train station, which is just up that road there, but obviously they'll have to go around um, the back of the town hall here if that's going to happen. But at the moment, the police are still not letting anybody out. Um, this horse is here, it doesn't look like uh, they're letting anybody through. Nobody's being let through at the moment. Becca, Mike, Andy Carter, thanks a lot for the uh, 
gifted membership as well. Hope you're all uh, good this evening. Thanks for joining us on the stream. This is um, this is where some of the uh, kettling started to happen again. I know it's uh, well. This is this is live raw footage as it happened. I was there all day. For those of you just joining us here on my left eye, as it happened, uh, this is all exclusive footage. As I say in the chat, this was in uh, in Bolton, in Lancashire. Greater Manchester, wherever, let the debate go on. Um, yeah, this was today. Live and exclusive. Live and exclusive. Yeah, thanks again, Andy, uh, for that gift membership. That's a great way to show solidarity uh, with the channel. I uh, hope you enjoy your, your perks as a new member, Mike. Just been going through the clips if you're just catching up with us uh feel free to uh catch up from the beginning later this is what we're up to at the moment uh from what went down in bolton town Not letting anybody out at the moment. Oh no, right, this is. Am I muted? Was I muted? Okay, I was sorry, I was just giving a shout out to Helena and Kev for the raid there. Please do follow Helena at No Justice MTG and also Kevin Logan at Kevin Logan. Um I'll be putting uh, links uh, for the channels in the chat at the end of the live stream, so that's another good excuse to stick around. Here on my left eye, thanks for joining us if you're coming across from Helena and Kev's stream tonight. Sorry about the uh, problem with the mic there. <laughs> All right, let's crack, let's crack through. I just overheard someone say this is getting out of hand. I think you might be right. This isn't what we want. We came here to challenge the EDL not to clash with the police. But obviously people have been blocked in here now for a long time. <laughs> We've been here about three and a half hours so far. Yeah, all that time, and I'd had, you know, coffees and stuff. Do you know where I'm getting at? Do you know where I'm getting at? And uh, they wouldn't let us out. By this point, I'd been coshed a few times in the uh, in the back around the shoulder area and in the back of the head as well. And there's there's more, a bit more argy-bargy to come. Unfortunately, I've had to dodge missiles and fireworks from the far right and try to hide in or get away from it in back streets which were then kettled off as well uh, for those of you who've missed it so far this is uh this is what you've missed yeah uh becca you you've got my point 
exactly uh, there. That was the situation at the time. I managed to plow through, you know. This is the, this is what I go through to bring you all this exclusive content, by the way. Uh, <laughs> whilst I'm also bursting for the toilet. So uh, the things I go through for you guys, but I know that you're here for me too. And that's what solidarity is all about. And uh, whether you're raising a cup of solidarity, I know it's not a bruise at 10 or whatever you're raising, uh, here's to you. I've got a different kind of brew uh, this evening. Just uh, treat myself to a couple uh, after the day I've had. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. Do the I could do with a bathroom break at this point. I've had three coffees, spit it a while. No, go on, 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 go there's a dispersal order, but doesn't appear that the police are implementing that. In fact, uh, quite the opposite, they're not letting us go anywhere. There's more police coming through now in full riot gear. Uh, about a dozen more coming out here on the front line. Spread out all along the barrier. <laughs> we know how to fight the police, that isn't what this is about, we're here to show the EDL. Of this to be you know, sides are clashing with the police, it's got to be about the far it's right. It's a peaceful protest, it should be peaceful. It's peaceful. We're doing our best to keep it peaceful here, obviously. We just don't want racist people in our town, that's it. No, that's all we don't want, not racist you're, people in our town. Okay, talking to camera, yeah. What, so, it's on, yeah. What's the message? We don't want no racist people in our town, that's the reason we've come out today in full effect because we want to protect our children, our mothers, sisters yeah. and our neighbourhood and at the end of the day we're not racist ourselves and we don't want any trouble to our Muslims no. and we're not racist ourselves. No, we've, got no problem, we've got no problem with the police either. Yeah. Sometimes our anger gets taken out on the police Free because, they're sign. because they're obstructing us from getting to them but we've got a problem with them. They're uneducated, absolute fool, fool dickheads. Yeah. That's all it is mate. They, they should not be even out here, they should not be rioting against Muslims, they should not be attacking mosques because it's got nothing to do with what's going on in town. Why mate, here, what has he led the line today? What has tell them? <laughs> He's giving my identity away on, on the camera. <laughs> it's not live, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it's it. Not live. Mic check, mic check, one, two. Okay, yeah, yeah, his mate was playing a prank on him there. That's not actually his real name. Um, I found that out afterwards. 
thanks so much for those uh, uh, comments in the chat as well, Flow Snake. Really glad that you're appreciating uh, the content as well. Um, yeah, I'm all good. I mean, I've been in the thick of it in situations like this before. Um, as I've said, you know, long term viewers will know that I'm a, a political and environmental protester and activist. Um, I'm a supporter of Just Up Oil as well. Um, I'm I'm used to, you know, these these high tense situations. Don't I'm I'm trained in um, how to de-escalate and so on and so forth and how to handle these kind of situations. I'm normally pretty good at looking after myself where that's concerned, but thanks a lot for those uh, sentiments. I'm glad that you're enjoying this content. You get to see things in a wider perspective here on My Left Eye. My Left Eye sees all, and uh, we, we saw everything that went down in Bolton today, more than your, your sort of 30 second snippets that you get on mainstream media. This is the real deal. Imagine. But yeah, it's, it's the far right trying to make this it's into a race right. issue. Of course, of course. And uh, obviously, this has nothing to do with Islam. No, of, of course, it's got nothing. Look, at the end of the day, now we, we might be covered up and everything, but this is just to protect ourselves at the end of the day. Yeah, well, a lot of us are working professionals here as well, so it's yeah. not even about giving a funky, funky image. Yeah. Now, these guys here, a lot of them, they've got no teeth, they've got no education, and they've got nothing to lose. Does that make sense? And all there is to incite hatred attack and they want a retaliation from us and then in the end when we retaliate we're apparently the bad guys yeah and that's not what we want out here no. we want peace and we stand for peace ourselves and if and if you look at islam islam is a peaceful religion yes that's what islam is actually about and you can never generalize based on one muslim or another muslim doing a crime or whatever have you because you get bad cookies in every religion and this is what people need to understand out there what is the wakas Thanks for talking to us. Not a problem, buddy. Right. If you are out of the land or out of the city, there is a possibility that you will be arrested. So please stay together and stay united and follow the instructions. <laughs> So I think there's a chance we can get out now as long as everybody's just been saying on the megaphone if everybody stays together, stays calm, moves slowly, quietly, peacefully, then they are going to start to let us out. Um, well, now you can see at the moment they're uh, tightening the police ring around the crowd. This is where we really need to test everybody's resolve and that they can we can do this peacefully without things escalating. Otherwise they're just not gonna let us out. This is where they try to be let out. You can see another group over that have been holding uh, off as well, smaller group. <laughs> But hopefully we can get through, we can walk calmly to where we need to go. If uh, people start running, then the police are going to react and we're just going to get cordoned off and kettled in again. Which we don't want, a lot of people are getting a bit restless about being... Vicky, thanks for, uh, Vicky Clee, thanks for joining us in the chat. Um, you're right there, most people were so calm, I think I'm just about to point out in the narration, there's one or two restless people, there's a few restless people, but this is among hundreds uh, as well, and uh, everyone, everyone's there with the same sentiments that you heard in that little interview there as well. Um, everyone's there for peace, that's what 
that's what this is about. It's about standing up to hate. It's about standing up to the violent attitudes of the far right. Uh, Phil McCracken, welcome to the chat. Thanks a lot for those 10 gifted memberships as well. Great to see you back as well. Hope you enjoy those uh, perks for all of those new members. Thanks for that show of solidarity, Phil. Hope you're well. Let us know how you're doing in the chat. Great to see you back on the live stream again. Solidarity, brother. Cats in here for so long. So I think now some of the uh, <laughs> some of the protest group leaders are trying to appeal to people on the police line about us getting through quietly without escalation because they can't keep us in here all day. There's still a small EDL presence over there. The dispersal order still hasn't been implemented, by the way. I mentioned the dispersal order was in place, but the police are still doing the opposite of that now, so they're moving the line. Not, the line's moving now. Going to go move with the crowd. As long as we carry on like this, it should be okay. I don't really want to get coshed around the head again, in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Phil, for that uh, 10 gifted memberships. Yeah, absolute superstar there. Uh, yeah, did you overhear that comment there about it's only a normal cigarette officer? Uh, well, that's that's the vibe. That's what's going down. Sorry if there was a bit of uh, buffering there as well. I think we might be uh, trying to head back to Alter Park which is where part of the crowd originally congregated this morning. Um, it's called Queen's Park in Bolton. Anyone from Bolton? Yeah. 
they're trying to some people are trying to break out uh, down a side road. I'm just want to get thick, uh, a few traffic cones being thrown at someone who's really from calm. Don't do that, man. I just want to get home safe. It's like that's all calm down now. Literally now while I'm filming, I'm getting shot in the back. But there's no room for us to move. We're squeezing us in. No one's slowing down, nobody's trying to stop. There's literally no room to move, but they keep shoving us in the back and telling us to speed up. Unless they want us to walk through whoever's in front of us, that's just not really possible. We are trying to We are We are intimidating people. Yes, yeah, this one. They try intimidating people. They've been letting the dogs off us for nothing. They've not even been invading their personal space. How does that make you feel on How a human it, level? It makes me feel angry. I get, I get frustrated. Yes. But because I am Muslim, I have to be calm about this. You know, I have to be calm. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, man. The soldiers, the lions of Allah are all out today. Bring the UDL. Do you believe in peace for all? Yes, I do believe in peace for all. Well, you people don't believe in peace for all. We do. How do you achieve it? How do you achieve it? By slapping you in the face? Me? Yeah, you. I am Hindu. Are you Hindu? Yeah. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure he meant that. I'm not sure he meant that. Um, I'm not sure if he knows the the guy who's interviewing him or not. Oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> Friends is over there at home, she's okay, she's been shoved around a lot. I'm nearly running out of storage space here guys, so I'm gonna to have to switch to another phone. Bear with me. I'm nearly running out of storage space here, guys, so I'm going to have to switch to another phone. Bear with me. So I've uh, run out of footage on uh, my main phone, but I'm a resourceful chap. Uh, I've got a backup. So, at least trying to keep us moving. But there's some people trying to antagonise. Trying to antagonise the groups from the side street, but we just want to keep it moving. We don't know who they are, they don't know if they are EDL or whatever. We don't need to antagonise things any further. Uh, I don't have that much storage left on this phone, by the way. Enough to be a bit um, economical with the time I've got left, so I think I'm going to leave it there for now until we get to the park. I'll keep you posted unless anything else seriously happens. Um, 
I'll, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll wait until we get to the park and then see what's happening when we get up there. This is the car park that the police have uh, led us into uh, just by the edge of Queen's Park, but it looks like most people are just walking straight out of the car park, going back onto a main road towards the edge of uh, the town centre. So, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get through, but I'll try and keep up with what's happening there. Again, I've only got enough storage space for a few more minutes of footage. I might try and delete some old clips and footage to be able to bring you more. And then I can uh, stay with you for as long as possible. Yeah, so the word is that the uh, fascists have come up to try and attack a mosque here on uh, Derby Street in Bolton. Uh, that's why everyone's heading over here now. You can see uh, walking in the road. Uh, I can't see any, any police around at the moment. They all stayed back at the park. Um, you can see the mosque is just up the hill there. Uh, let's see what's happening. This is the main road uh, still that leads to the mosque and now there are attempts to block the road in case the EDL do try and come up. It looks as though uh, the counter protesters have managed to get one step ahead of the EDL and um, just appealing to drivers at the moment, letting them know about the situation. But at the moment, they're trying to cordon off Derby Street to nip the EDL in the bud, stop any risk of them getting up to the mosque. I can only film for a minute here because it's, uh, it's pissing down with rain. I'm still low on um, data, but they tried to move back towards town from the main road uh, to go and try and stop the EDL. They thought we'd be coming up from that way. Now the police have showed up all of a sudden, loads of vans and blocked off the road. They've gone around the side here at the back of this uh, Cack Donald's. And um, right, I'm gonna try and catch up with them and see what's happening, but they're not gonna get past this, this police block here. So there's a clash now. This is uh, the University of Bolton campus. And people have tried to rush around the, the back and now police are showing up and trying to keep everybody contained. I'm gonna see if I can get across the road and find out what's going on, but I can't get arrested today. <laughs> I'd really rather not, but um, I do want to keep as close to the action as I can. Just uh, bear with me. Well, the good news is it doesn't look like the EDL are going to get up the road to the mosque at all, but this game of cat and mouse with the police has turned a bit hurry. You can see there's a group of about, I don't know, maybe 50 counter protesters um, kettled in there. I'm not going to. Uh, go over, I'm not going to risk any more argy-bargy with the police. I'll be honest, um, I do have to get my dinner. I'm really, really short on um, data now. I can only record a few more minutes of footage and I'm going to have to start editing this down together to bring it to you on the live stream which you're watching right now. So that's all from me, live from the scene. And uh, it's back to Lefty in the studio. Yeah, sorry, um, there wasn't any uh, visual on those last couple of clips there, back to me in the studio. Thanks from our roving reporter, whoever whoever that was. <laughs> no, it was me. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the kind of thing um, 
we're going to be getting more into here on my left eye live footage from uh, events as it happens of course as well um let me know what you you thought about all of that i'm not sure how long individually you you've stuck with us through this footage tonight um that is all exclusive footage like i said as it happened on the ground more or less from the two lefties octo two lefties i don't have a twin or anything probably maybe a few doppelgangers i hear say um but no no twin no twin as it were <laughs> um yeah i'd love to know your thoughts whether you're watching live or on a replay i did get um there were certain parts of it that were fairly physical as you saw and heard the but i'm okay don't worry about me i took a bit of a caution on the on the back and on the head and and whatnot and a couple of other confrontational moments uh none of the fireworks hit me um missed me fascist yeah better luck next time himmler um at the risk of not going full rick mail but i am i am fine thanks a lot for your uh your concerns in the chat but uh don't worry about me i'll i'll keep getting down there and uh bringing it from the front lines as it happens of course Molly cuddle welcome to the chat it's good to see you back again as well uh yeah there are a lot of good people good people do exist good people in communities do exist um the mainstream platforms as they are unfortunately give more of a platform to right wingers like farage et al um i guess i should probably summarize somewhat at this point in the live stream what we what we've seen and uh, what's been going on in other towns and cities across the uk i guess the overriding thing is this is the result of that right-wing rhetoric that has been coming from the mainstream uh, mainstream press from the government with the hostile environment with the uh, pathetic attempts to gain votes by focusing on migration and attempting to stir up xenophobia and racist hate we are now literally seeing the words of the government i.e stop the boats and so on being regurgitated from these members of the far right and that's as clear as day um, in terms of the cycle of misinformation and hate spreading that has gone on uh, the right-wing press also have a massive amount to play with this the amount of um, hateful headlines front pages we've seen from the likes of the daily mail the daily express uh, the sun And this this is what happens. This is what comes of it. And we good people have to stand up against it. Um, and as as well as being a commentator, you know, live streamer, YouTuber, etc. Uh, I'm someone who uh, gets out there and uh, puts my body on the line because I am. Because we have this privilege in the West. Um, you have to consider how people in the global south have it, how people in the Middle East have it at the moment, in Yemen, in Palestine, in all of these places, um, and to, across the wider world, I know there's a lot of focus on those areas at the moment, but where people have it far worse than you, you have to do the most that you can with the opportunities that you can um, to stand up against that, because fortunately... As as bad as it is, uh, with with the with the police force here, and I'm sure they have the same in America and and um, over in other European countries as well. When people demonstrate, we at least know that we're not going to be dragged off and put into a gulag, or be macheted to death and just disappear off the face of the planet. And um, we we have to use ourselves, the advantages that we have, that we can get out there and and do that, and everybody who can do so, has to do so. Um, we don't want to have to do so. 
but if the right wing in it in its current form exists then that is something that needs standing up to um just to go back quickly again <clears throat> to this awful tragedy that happened in southport something that the right wing have fixated upon lied to each other about and used as an excuse to attack communities um that we really have to stand in, in solidarity with the families of those three girls for a start. But also the question arises, and look, I'm someone who's studied politics, sociology, in psychology, other subjects as well, for a long time. To come to understanding what leads a 17-year-old boy to go into a, a, a dance school and try to stab as many people as he can, Three girls have died, others injured. What what makes someone in society want to do that? That is something that needs addressing. But what the far right are coming out with is as far from the uh, so the supposed solution or vengeance. I think it is in in their heads. That is is not the correct, appropriate response to that. And I hate having to be dragged in to this to have to stand up to these moronic, knee-jerking, reactionary, racist assholes. I, I, I genuinely do. I get no I get no pleasure out of having to go down to things like this today. The same way that uh, in doing what I, I do to stand up against climate change, um, we don't like having to have to go to such lengths and uh, you know, viewers will know that I'm a supporter and um, I take action with Just Up Oil, etc. Um, it's not something that I want to have to do, but it's out of necessity. It is all out of necessity. And I'm glad to have uh, been able to share that with you tonight on the live stream. I really appreciate you being with me here tonight and sharing your, your thoughts and everything. Um, yeah, glad you appreciate it in the chat, Floor Snake. Jeff Gates, welcome to the chat as well. I try and keep my own the chat as much as possible. I don't have any moderators at the moment. Um, you're always so amazing, awesome, peaceful, all, you know, seeing the banter between you, even when I'm just going on about whatnot. And I do appreciate that genuinely, you know, from the bottom of my heart. So, um, yeah, here's to you guys. Um, looking forward now, uh, the weekend's come to a close. Not sure how many more of these attempts from the far right are going to come up in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, of course, I'll try and keep you up to speed as, as much as I can uh, on live streams and such. Uh, if there are any happening, you know, that I can get down to within my means, then uh, I will of course will, of course, do so. I wasn't able to get down to get any exclusive footage in Manchester uh, yesterday because of a change of slash uncertainty in weekend schedules. But uh, unfortunately, we've seen this cropping up, not just in the northwest, um, all across the country. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen. Um, overall, my assessment of let's say, I don't know, I'll start with the police response. Um, yeah, I did take a couple of whacks, but like I said, I've had worse. Um, there were literally, literally one or two people getting a little bit out of hand. I have to admire and condone the um, efforts of uh, everybody there to try and de-escalate and appeal where that went on. I'm sure that it was a lot worse on the other side. Let's let's put it that way. Um as far as I know, I've heard of two arrests that happened on the on the counter protest side. One of those was for uh, apparent possession of firework. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one was for. Um, but yeah, generally we've we've seen a lot worse. I didn't get you know kicked by a horse at least. Um, in terms of assessment. In terms of efficacy, I noticed the 
far right dispersed fairly quickly after they attempted to do that thing where they went around the back um, of the shopping centre, as you saw in the clips there. They somewhat uh, thinned out and dispersed, to my knowledge. But at the time, you know, that's all. I found these things out in retrospect. Um, but then again, at the time, you hear these rumours about the moving one way or that there are other people arriving and so on and so forth. That's something that you have to deal with uh, in the in the sort of real time situation as it happens, I guess. You have to weigh up uh, what you can and can't believe because we don't just believe everything that we hear as opposed to the far right. I'm sure you know that the lies pertaining to this 17 year old um, boy Axel who is the perpetrator of these stabbings first of all the rumour was that he was a migrant he's not he was born in Wales he's the son of uh, migrants who came across from Rwanda and then it was also going around that he was a Muslim and associated with a certain mosque in Southport which was of course completely false um, for those of you who aren't aware, around 95-96% of Rwandans are Christian as well. That's something I'm sure the far right didn't even bother to look into um, until it just boiled down to the actual fact that the perpetrator uh, in this tragic case was not white. And that's all that they needed to give themselves the go-ahead, a green light to commit these atrocities on communities but um, I hope that you'll all do your utmost to stand up against that wherever you're from if you, if you see it rearing its head nearby then do you know pop out do go down there wherever you're from uh, I went down to Bolton today and um, yeah just just do what we can we'll just do what we can in solidarity and uh, with peace and love as well it's the overriding message of course um, and I guess I'll just about leave it at that I know that was quite a sombre message uh, to bring you back into Keith's well I say back we didn't really go there earlier but into Keith's fondue lounge as we will and I do want to give a shout out to uh, the members on the channel as well as always as I bring things to a close do stick with me here as, as, as we uh, say our goodbyes to one another 